Welcome back, my name is Ellie, this is Chester, and welcome to Small and Strong. Chester's sitting on me right now because he wants to look out the window which you're in front of because there's dogs and people walk past and he really loves it. Recently I've had a few problems health wise as we do and I can't currently feel a lot of my right leg. This has happened to me before, maybe twice. The first time it happened, I was in hospital for three months and that is what initially helped us figure out that I had Ellis Daniel syndrome and put me in a wheelchair. But this time, we're not sure what's going on as of yet, but we will be figuring that out very soon. So I'm currently living at my mum's house so that she can help me get about. It is very wheelchair accessible, which as we've only just moved into this house, we were very pleased to find that out. So today is just sort of a chilling in bed day. As you've seen, I've already woken up and got ready. Although I will be alternating between the sofa and my bed today, I still want to look and feel like me. There is every chance I will take my makeup off by around lunchtime, but it's getting ready in the morning. It's a routine that I like to have. So me and Chester are going to make our way downstairs with the help of my mum, and we're going to get some breakfast. Are you tired? I love you. Let's make a tea. My new kitchen is so accessible and I love it. We are collecting up snacks. My snacks. snacks. We've got them out of the snack cupboard, which is here. And the secret snack cupboard that my family don't know about. Which is over there somewhere. So we've got some snacks, we've got a dog, and we're gonna go up for a day in bed. We made it upstairs, thanks to my mother for all the help. It's, we're learning again. Um, especially in the new house the stairs have a corner in them and it's a lot of pressure on my good leg so that leg hurts quite a lot but after we came upstairs mum heated up my heat pack so I've had that on for quite a while I had a FaceTime call with one of my really good friends Katie we just sat and chatted about drama schools and plays and that's like my favourite thing to talk with her about because she gets really excited about it and then I get really excited about it and it's just, it's nice to have someone to bounce off of so I've just been sat here, Chester was sleeping on me but he got bored and he's gone outside now so I'm officially getting ready for movie day and in order to get ready for that I've got my blanket because if I get under my duvet I will sleep and I won't watch a whole movie. So the blanket avoids that happening. And most importantly, snacks. They're only in this home base bag to bring them upstairs because I can't carry things. We got some crisps because mum went, are you not having anything savoury? And I was like, all right, throw some crisps in. So we got the crisps. Got Milky Bar buttons. Too many packets of Skittles because we don't have a big packet. 
a Kinder Bueno. Fun fact, I'm trying to get as a dog called Bueno. So I bought these in the hopes that it would remind my parents every time they go in that cupboard. So we've got a Kinder Bueno. And to finish off movie day, chill out day, bed day, we've got popcorn. Put the snacks in the drawer. And I'm gonna light my candle, which I got from Asda, soft cotton. And I can never work these. Oh, there you go. the movie I quite enjoyed it I'm not a crier if I was a crier I would have cried so I think that sums up the movie really but now that's finished it was very good I had crisps and skittles and Missy is very much enjoying the movie she's still sleeping I nearly fell asleep a few times but I stayed awake I did it because I'll probably have a nap before dinner because we're having a roast tonight because it's Sunday so my stepdad and my stepsister cook an amazing roast every Sunday when all the kids are here so that is what we're doing later and I will have a nap before that so while we're waiting for that I just thought I'd explain why I'm filming this video and basically it's because my mum told me to in a way um, she was asking what I was going to film this week and I was like, you know, I'm not, I'm not really feeling it. I was like, I'm having a hard time with my leg. It hurts. I was like, I can't go out anywhere. I can't really do anything. I'm just not having the best time. So maybe I'll just won't put a video up this week. And then I said that I hadn't missed a video yet and I do enjoy filming them and I enjoy editing them. And it's something productive that I can actually do at this point. And she said that by me not filming this, I wasn't telling my story accurately and the story of others accurately. And I was like, you know what? Yeah, I'm having a rough minute and I'm sure plenty of other people have rough minutes and don't see other people having the rough minute. Do you know what I mean? I feel like that didn't make sense, but I feel like it might have made sense at the same time. So I decided to film today because I'm in my bed. Not a lot's going on, but unfortunately that is the way my life goes when suddenly I wake up and I can't feel my leg. Obviously I've used a wheelchair before, I have a wheelchair, I have crutches, I have everything, but I haven't been in this position for like five years. Hello. 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 It's good, the movie's finished. I'd quite like to come downstairs and make some sort of snacky lunch thing, if that's okay. Yeah. My mum is coming up to take me downstairs. She has to carry my leg and then I crutch down and I have to take it really slow because my other leg isn't the strongest leg in the world. Mum bought some flowers for me for my new bar, so we'll take those upstairs next time we go. Thank you, Mum. family dinner I didn't film anything we were just having a good time having a laugh we don't see each other very much and we haven't while we've been moving house so today was our first like proper sit down meal with all five of us and the dog and the cat in the kitchen so we just lived in that moment but then I came up to bed and I did physio with my mum and now my leg hurts like just I, yeah it hurts so I am going to lay in my bed with a heat pack and painkillers and just feel sorry for myself until I fall asleep and then I'll wake up tomorrow and it'll be a new day and hopefully the physio will help me feel better for tomorrow. If not, that's okay. If you've enjoyed this video or if you just feel like being nice because I could use a bit of joy in this world, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. That will be all for me from today's video and I will see you in the next one.